Yeah, hello. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So let's continue with the vocabulary part. Next, podiatry. Podiatry. Podo means foot. So podiatry is a specialization. Particularly, they deal with the diagnosis and treatment of the dis disorders related to the feet and the lower leg. And the practitioner, we call him as podiatrist. Podiatrist is the one who, pres who prescri prescribes us the type of shoes, or the type of footwear, how, how we have to manage it. And prosthesis. Prosthesis was the artificial devices was being substituted for the missing or damaged part. So Jaipur foot or the or artificial hand, everything will come under prosthesis. And prosthetics. So that was the profession, uh, specialization in making the processes. And the special and the uh, special specialist we call him as prosthetist. I'm coming to the fractures. So we have uh, different types of fractures. So the very first one is closed fracture. So closed fracture means there is no open skin wound and it was a very simple fracture. You cannot see any bleeding or anything. So the fracture will be inside. So that we call it as closed fracture. Colis fracture means common breast fracture. Commutated fracture. In this, uh, there was scattered. And so the bones was being scattered and it was crushed like more. So in this case, uh, if the crushing was too much, then they'll go for amputation. They'll remove the limb itself. Or they will try to fix it with pins and screws. Compound fracture. So the person may see the fracture with the bleeding and the fracture is open. We also call it as open fracture. Compression fracture. The person is having fracture with a lot of compression on the bones. Then we call it as common fracture. Compression fracture. Usually will be seen this compression fracture in vertebral body because of osteoporosis. So this here is the picture of the first thing is about the closed fracture. So it was in the below, it was a typing mistake. Uh, a is closed fracture, a simple fracture we call it as. B is open fracture or compound fracture. So you cannot see any bleeding in the simple fracture or in the closed fracture. You can see the bleeding or you can even sometimes see the fractured uh, bones also in this. And this is colis fracture, which we call it as a common breast fracture. Uh, FX we call it as fracture. The FX is the abbreviation we use for fracture or broken bone. Green stick fracture. This was usually, uh, this fracture will happen to the children. Only half of the bone will got fracture and remaining the half will be sticking only. So uh, how if we break the green stick, only half of the stick only will be broken. Same thing will be there for children because for them, the ossification will not get completed. So that's why the green stick fracture will happen for children. Impacted fracture means there will be many bony fragments that will be pushed into each other. Oblique fracture. The fracture line will be in a form of cross or an oblique. So here you can see the picture of oblique fracture. So this is oblique fracture. The line of fracture is oblique. And pathological fracture. If the person had a fracture because of any disease, we call him as, uh, it is called pathological fracture. For example, if the person is having any bone cancer, osteoporosis, osteomalacia, with that condition, if the person had fracture, then the fracture is pathological fracture. Spiral fracture. So the fracture line will be in the form of spiral. And stress fracture. So with repetitive pressure on the bone, at one point of time, the bone will get fractured. And transverse fracture. Here, the line of the fracture is actually transverse or horizontal. So this is the transverse fracture. The line of fracture is horizontal. There was a horizontal cut to the bone. And next, Ewing sarcoma. Ewing is the scientist's name. Sarcoma. Sarcoma means uh, cancer, bone cancer. So this was the cancer, especially to the long bones, shaft of the long bones or the diaphysis of the long bones. If the person is having Ewing sarcoma, then the surgeon will go for amputation. They will remove the part itself. And later they will put the processes because there was the highly uh, chance of metastasis. Metastasis means spreading to other areas. And osteogenic sarcoma. So this was the bone cancer.
that will be seen in the uh, bone cells itself. So the cancer that was born in the bone cells that we call it as osteogenic sarcoma, osteomalacia, which is softening of the bones because of the lack of vitamin D and calcium. So osteomalacia, osteoporosis. This was decrease in bone density and bone mass because of the deficiency of vitamin D or calcium. This will lead to porous of the bone. So easily the bone will get breakage. Paget's disease, which is a metabolic disease of the bone. The cause was unknown till now, but easily the bone will destruct and deformity will be seen. Rickets, so this will be usually seen for children with vitamin D and calcium deficiency. The bones will be, the legs will be like bow legs or knock knees. We call that as. So the legs will be very far or the legs will be very near. So bow knees and knock knees, we call it as. Ankylosis spondylitis, which is an inflammatory disease, particularly very similar to rheumatoid arthritis. So there will be stiffening of the vertebral column. The entire vertebral column will get stiffening. Herniated nucleus pulposus. Protrusion of an intervertebral disc, also called as ruptured disc. And scoliosis, increased lateral curvature of the spine. And spina bifida. We have seen this spina bifida yesterday, which was a congenital anomaly. So it will be seen from the birth itself. So the vertebra will fail to fuse fully in the backside. So because of spina bifida, we get meningocele and meningomyelocele. Spinal stenosis. Narrowing of the spinal canal, so because of the pressure on the spinal cord and nerves. And spondylolisthesis, forward slipping of lumbar vertebra over the other. So usually the vertebra was arranged in order. So because of some damage in one vertebra, the one vertebra will slip on the other vertebra. So this also will leads to pressure on the spinal cord. Bunyan, uh, which is an inflammation of bursa of the great toe. So usually they'll go for bunionectomy, removal of the bursa. Dislocation means, so the bone will come out of the joint. So that we call it as dislocation. Osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. So both are the inflammation of the joint only, but osteoarthritis will come in the old age. But rheumatoid arthritis will come in the young age itself. This is because of the rheumatoid factor. So if the rheumatoid factor is present, then the person will be having rheumatoid arthritis. The person is, uh, the, so rheumatoid factor is absent, then he, he may not have, which is an autoimmune inflammation. Our own antigens will fight with our own antibodies. That was the difference between osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Both will have the stiffness, swelling, pain, everything will be common. And sprain, any damage to the ligament, we call it a strain, sprain. Any damage to the muscle, we call it a strain. So sprain means any damage to the ligament. And strain means S-T-R-A-I-N. Strain means any damage to the muscle. And subluxation, which is an incomplete dislocation. Only half of the bone will come out of the joint. Remaining half will be there in the joint itself. That was the difference between subluxation and dislocation. In the dislocation, the entire bone will come out of the joint. In the subluxation, only half of the bone only will come out of the joint. And next, SLE, systemic lupus erythromatosis. This was also an autoimmune disease, very similar to rheumatoid arthritis. So the same uh, things only will be there in the SLE also, similar to rheumatoid arthritis. And talipus. Talipus means foot deformity. Their foot will be like a club foot. So the hockey club, how the hockey club will be there. So like that, the foot will be there. That we call it as talipus. And coming to the diagnostic imaging, orthography. So taking an x-ray of the joint by using the dye, by injecting the dye into the joint. Bone scan. So any scan, brain scan, bone scan or muscle scan, which is, comes under the nuclear medicine. So they'll produce the procedures, they will inject the radioactive dye to visualize the bone and identify. This was done particularly to identify the stress factor or Ewing sarcoma, metastasis of Ewing sarcoma or osteogenic sarcoma. And dual energy absorbometry, this was the bone density test usually done with low dose x-rays to detect the osteoporosis and osteomalacia rickets. Myelography, taking an x-ray of particularly to the spinal cord, spinal column, but after injecting the dye. 
in order to see the nucle herniated nucleus pulposus, if any disc was coming out of the vertebral column. Radiography, taking an X-ray, particularly to study the internal structure of the body. So to visualize the bones and joints, the entire thing. Orthoscopy. Orthoscopy means uh, with the help of the instrument orthoscope. So inside that orthoscope instrument, they'll have a fiber optic camera. So with that camera, by inserting into the joint, they can see what is happening inside the joint. Amputation. Surgical removal of the limb uh, for the reasons like tumor, gangrene or crush, crushing injury. Orthoscopic surgery. With the help of the orthoscope instrument, if they have doing the surgery, then we call it as orthoscopic surgery. Bone graft. So bone from another source, you should use it to replace this bony defect. So they'll take some other bone and they'll fit, uh, fix it in this place. Bunionectomy, surgical removal of bursa of the great toe, we call it as bunionectomy. And laminectomy, surgical removal of the vertebra. So a part of vertebra to relieve the pressure on the spinal cord and spinal nerve. Percutaneous discectomy. So it was done for herniated nucleus pulposus. Through the skin, they will remove the ruptured disc. So it was done with the help of laser. So it, it is very, very minimal surgery only. And it is also very easy. Spinal fusion. So they will fix the vertebral column not to move. So this will be done for ankylosis spondylitis and uh, spondylolisthesis. Total hip arthroplasty. So they will remove our natural hip joint and they will put the prosthetic hip joints, which is made up of metal. Total knee arthroplasty is they will take off the natural knee joint. So if the person was affected with uh, osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis, then they will take the entire natural joint and they'll put the metallic joint. So coming to the fracture care, fixation. So if the, if the person had fracture, they usually will uh, stabilize the fracture with external fixators like casting and splinting. And lateral, so if the internal fixation means with the surgery, they'll put the needles, pins and plates and screws. Reduction. So reduction was done for fracture, dislocation and subluxation. Uh, reduction means fixing the fracture or fixing the dislocation or fixing the subluxation with the help of uh, anesthesia. And traction. Traction is for making the proper alignment of the fracture. They pull the fracture uh, fragments. So then only they can able to fix the fracture. So this, all the things will be done with anesthesia only. Without anesthesia, it was very, very painful. Coming to the pharmacology, bone reabsorption inhibitors, means which will reduce the reabsorption of the bone this is to treat the osteoporosis and Paget's disease. Calcium supplementation, vitamin D supplementation. This is also to increase the bone density to treat the osteomalacia, osteoporosis and rickets. Corticosteroids are actually given for inflammation, particularly to the rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. This was given for the pain relief for arthritic patients. So coming to the abbreviation. AE means above elbow. AK means above knee. BDT, bone density testing. So this is done for osteoporosis and osteomalacia and rickets. PE, below elbow. DK, below knee. BMD, bone mineral density. C1, C2, C3, C4. These things are first cervical vertebra, second cervical vertebra, likewise. If it is L1, L2, L3 means lumbar vertebra. CA means calcium. DJD, degenerative joint disease. Under DJD, we have osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and uh, ankylosis spondylitis. TXA, dual energy absorbometry. FX means fracture. HNP, herniated nucleus pulposus. JRA, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. If the person had rheumatoid arthritis at an N gauge. And L1, L2, L3 are the lumbar vertebra. LE means lower extremity, LLE means left lower extremity, LUE left upper extremity. NSAIDs, NSAIDs means non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Usually these are painkillers. OA, osteoarthritis, ORIF, open reduction and internal fixation. This was the surgery for compound fracture. Ortho means orthopedics, 
RA, rheumatoid arthritis, RLE, right lower extremity. RUE is right upper extremity. SLE, systemic lupus erythromatosus, and T1, T2, 3, T3, 4. This we call it as first thoracic vertebra, etc. THA, total hip orthoplasty. THR, total hip replacement. TKA, total knee arthroplasty. TKR, total knee replacement. Total knee arthroplasty or replacement, both are same. UE means upper extremity. Yeah, that's it. Tomorrow you'll be having the muscular system, the entire muscular system. Okay. Any doubts regarding this? No, ma'am. Okay. Are you going through the slides, right? Yes, ma'am. Just text me if you have any, any doubts. Okay, tomorrow okay. the topic will be muscular system. Okay, uh, Veena? Yes, ma'am. Uh, making any topics on my balance? Muscular system of the left, ma'am. Inka, inka dokkate, na? Mm, dokkate, na. Mm, okay, Veena. And I put in Kaipen at together. Miku Tanaki Goda, Kinara Goda. Kinara Tano, Mir Adutan and Narman, then intente Nenu Tanu Nishamam class low class win and Gadam. Then we need the Lidana Telu. Okay, if you are done, you can leave for the day. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay ma'am. Thank you. Okay, thank you.